a much warmer day a few weeks ago, we talked with UNL Extension Beef Specialist Rick Rasby about winter calving. After a relatively warm winter, we asked Rick if it was easy to become complacent with cows on uncovered stalks. When we started out in December, boy, it was kind of rough, but boy, it straightened out weather-wise uh, uh, after that. And you know, we had an early harvest, and so cattle have been out on corn stalks for a long period of time. The thing that uh, sometimes I see with open winters is that we put a set of cows on a set of corn stalks back in October, uh, early November, and just because it's open, um, we may think that they're getting all the nutrients that they need. Well, if you've overstocked or you've stocked at the right stocking rate and, uh, and that particular uh, availability of nutrients is up, we need to move to a new stock field. So just because it's open doesn't mean they're getting all the nutrients they need off of that uh, corn stock field that you stocked way back in October and November. So just be watching body condition pretty close. What are some things that they're missing out on? I mean, you obviously have a lot of feed that they're getting out in those fields. Everything's open, but what yeah. are some nutritional elements well, they might be missing? Well, well, the thing is, is that as they move from mid gestation to late gestation to closer to calving uh, and then lactation is that if we move up that, that spectrum there, uh, the nutrients needed in regards to protein and t TDN increase. And so um, as we get closer to calving, it's going to be difficult to meet those protein energy content, uh, nutrients uh, on corn stalks alone. And so that's the kind of thing that they need to think about. If they've just recently moved to a new stock field and they calve in uh, late February, early March, they're probably going to be okay. But just pay attention. Just because it's open doesn't mean that you're getting all the nutrients that you need, especially if you've stocked that field way back in October and November. You mentioned body condition. What are yeah. some cues you're looking for there to, to get your read? Yeah, you know, I think that's really a good tool that producers can use to uh, monitor how good their nutrition program is. For March calving cows, we need to have them in a condition score five. If we do that, they'll do a pretty good job at the time of calving. But as important, body condition at the time of calving impacts how quickly they're going to rebreed during that next breeding season. And so having them in body condition score five at calving also ensures that we're probably going to get a, a early cyclicity in those cows and get them bred early in that, in that next breeding season. What are those repercussions then if you don't, you know, if you don't stay on your cues there looking at yeah. body condition and nutrition, what are your repercussions? Well, I tell you what, the, uh, the way calves are selling, open cows just are going to be expensive. And so being able to get them uh, uh, pregnant is going to be extremely important. As important it's going to be to, you know, once you get them calved, to get them uh, from calving to weaning time as well. And really, you take a look at the uh, colostrum and colostrum quality. You know, if cows are in good body condition, we know we have data that says that uh, the amount of IgGs in the bloodstream of that calf 24 hours after calving is higher when that dam calves in condition score five as compared to condition score four. How quickly can that nutrition turn? Because as we we, we talked a little bit before, but you know, you might be able to say, well, look, the, the weather's been great. I've been yeah. going ahead on my nutrition so they can they can last a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's probably not the way you want to approach things. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, whether the porridge is too hot, too cold, or just right. You know, you just want to have it just right. Overfeeding is expensive, okay? And so you don't want to do that because it's going to cost you money and the benefits from overfeeding is, is just not there. Underfeeding is going to be expensive on the other side as well. And so having them just at that condition score five, especially for March calving cows, is important. I would say that young females like first calf heifers, I like to see them at body condition score six at, at their first calving. And, and that stands the reason because they're, you know, they're lactating for the first time, they're still growing and trying to repair uh, that reproductive tract to get bred for the second time. And so they just need to be in just a little bit better body condition. You would imagine that people with the forage prices the way they are, with prices of anything the way they are, they're going to be really aggressive with that diet. They are, and, and, and you know what, I think that's, that's important. And, and like I said, overfeeding is, is going to be expensive. And so uh, you're going to watch kind of the, uh, uh, how you might handle that. But, but again, you know, I think a, a pregnant cow is going to be uh, uh, more uh, valuable than an open cow or a non-pregnant cow. And then a live calf at weaning time is going to be important as well. 